here's three reasons why you suck at martial arts. So first of all, there is something called content versus process. Do you guys know the difference between content and process? Process is more like training to learn and master the con content. Okay. And the content is like what you have, like the, the things that have to be done. The content is the things that, this is the core requirements and the process is doing it. Okay, sounds good, yeah. Okay, now content is basically stuff, right? If you look, search Wing Chun on YouTube, do you know how many videos there are right now? So many. 509,000 Wing Chun videos on YouTube. So that's content, there's a ton of content, isn't there? There's tons of websites, everybody's a guru, everybody knows stuff about Wing Chun, okay? And you can watch 500,000 videos. But what's the difference between having a lot of content and having a process? A process, what is that? It is a step-by-step -step thing or some kind of formula or system that allows you to train to get prep better, right? So you have a lot of content, what's, what's that like? Somebody who's watching a ton of YouTube videos? Have you met anybody like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, they say, oh yeah, I know, about, I know that. Yeah. Oh, I know how to do that. Okay, oh, well, I've seen that on YouTube. Okay, is there a difference between knowing what and knowing how? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so content, you may know what it is. Oh, that's a tonsil. Oh, that's a straight punch. But do you know how to do it? Okay, so can, can someone who's watched, let's say 500,000 YouTube videos, spend like three years watching 500,000 YouTube videos, they'll probably know what it is, right? They'll have knowledge, but can they do it? That's the question. Okay, so that's the difference between content and process. Number one reason why people suck at martial arts is because they have a lot of content, but they have no process. There's no way to practice, no way to train. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, number two, evaluating and testing. Okay, so what happens when you do something and you think you're really great and you practice on your own and say, wow, I can really do this uh, Wing Chun and then um, but you never really tested it, never really practiced with anybody. How do you know that it's, that you're good? You don't. Or you suck? You don't. You may be good in your mind. Yeah. Is that internal or external? It's internal. Internal. But what do you need to be able to evaluate whether something's working or not? Is it internal or external? You need a role test and external. It has to be external, right? You need to be externally evaluating whether it works or not, okay? So what do we do in our class? External. A Test. lot of external, right? Yeah. Okay, we're testing all the time. Like for example, if something doesn't work, how do you know? You tried it you out. Tr you tested it out and it doesn't work. Yeah. You have the feedback right away, okay? So the number two reason why people suck in martial arts is because they don't test, okay? So they do a lot of forms, looks real good. Very internal, right? Yeah, this is the way. Yeah, it looks good. But have you tested it? Though? Does it work? Right? So that's the difference between evaluating and not evaluating. Okay, so that's the number two reason. Third reason is let's say that you tested it out and it doesn't work. And then um, how do you how do you become better from that point? You see no. Okay. Ask questions. Yeah. Ask some questions. You, uh, Something simpler, even simpler. Adapting. Adapting. You have to change. Yeah. Okay. So, have you heard of the saying that uh, someone who does the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, is stupid? Yeah. Or insane? Insanity. Yeah. Insanity. Okay. Einstein actually said, "You can't solve problems with the same mindset in which you discovered the problem." Okay. So I'll say that again. You can't solve the problems with the same mindset that you used to find the problem in the first place. Make sense? You have to change it. Okay? So, if we don't change our behaviors, if we don't adapt, like Jerry said, then we basically still stuck. Still suck. Mm -hmm. Still stuck, stuck being suck. Yeah. <laughs> still suck, stuck I'm sucking. Stuck. Okay? Stuck <laughs> sucking. <laughs> 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 Okay, so what do we have to do? After we find that something's not working, we have to adapt. 
we have to uh, we have to change something. Okay, so those are three. And number four is uh, what um, Dehan said is you don't have someone to teach you. Okay, now unless you're like really like uh, a genius, most people will need someone to teach them. Okay, now if you're a genius, some people are like they're really good at martial arts and they can teach themselves. And you can probably figure this out on your own, a lot of stuff. If you, if you do these points, if you have a process, if you make it for yourself, some people are good at this. They have their own process, they master that. They evaluate and test on their own somehow. And they change the behaviors. But is it faster with someone like a Sifu and mentor who's already gone through all that process yeah, to oh, show yeah. you which way to go? No. Or is it faster just doing it on your own? Faster working with Sifu. Some of them also. Okay, so that's another fourth reason why you may suck is because you're going just by yourself. You're just doing everything by yourself, which is, you know, some people like that. But if you want to go and learn the fastest way, why not find someone who's already gone through the process, has the system, and then knows how to help you change and help, help you find out where you need to uh, uh, improve and things like that, right? So those are the three reasons plus the bonus reason why you suck at martial arts. It may not be you, but you know, you get the point, right? Okay, any questions? You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. See you in the next video.